And welcome back to the Journalistic Revolution for part four of this segment. We'll be talking about the Apple patent that they just got permission for, from. Yep, it, uh, basically it's a patent that um, it doesn't mean it's in use yet, okay? I don't want, you know, I don't want to be a fear monger, but it's something that we need to be paying attention to. And this is going to lead to next week's episode about how we can circumvent these types of patents with Apple and droids and stuff like that. Um, what it is, is it's a patent that sh shuts off certain functions of your phone like, in areas that they deem that you're not allowed to be recording or taking pictures in. You know, like um, the camera function. Yeah, the camera function, the GPS function. Uh, recording uh, functions. Recording functions. It, 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 it's, it's really sad. Um, the patent number, I, I don't have it here because I lost <laughs> my paper, but... Um, but the patent describes it as this, an apparatus and methods for changing one or more functional or operational aspects of a wireless device, such as upon the occurrence of a certain event. In one embodiment, the event com compromises detect that wireless device is within range of one, or more, uh, uh, of one or more other devices. Another variant, the event compromises the wireless device associating with certain access points. In this manner, various aspects of the device functionality may be enabled or restricted um, but, uh, from the device policies. This policy enforcement capability is useful for a variety of reasons, including, uh, for an example, to disable noise and or light emanating from wireless devices, such as at the movie theater, uh, for preventing wireless devices from communicating with other wireless devices, such as in academic settings, or for, for, uh, for forcing certain electronic devices to enter sleep mode when entering a sensitive area. <laughs> now, now the, there's two implications here going away from the, just the political aspect of it. Well, you know, I'm a single father with a child, and I like going to the movies, but I'm not going to leave my child where, with someone where they can't get a hold of me for two, two and a half hours because I'm in a theater. And then they say, well, the academic, well, yeah, kids shouldn't have. Well, you know what? Some kids have phones for emergency reasons. reasons. And I think under recent circumstances, um, whether it's the shooting in Colorado at the, at the, uh, at the movie theater or, in a, or shooting in a school, wouldn't you want someone to be able to make a phone call? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it just doesn't make sense uh, on that aspect. And then when talking about, you know, academic settings, this is what I want to um, um uh, bring to light is the way that they explain things. And I noticed this in mainstream media and in reports all the time. First, they give you uh, benign reasons it can be used. Movie theater. Academic settings, yeah. Yeah, school. And then sensitive areas. What are sensitive areas? I mean, I can understand to a degree uh, it, top secret, you know, areas of the government, you can't have it there. But what about protests, mm -hmm. political rallies? Um, even just where the president goes to have a speech. I mean, it just, it doesn't make sense on a safety level. How is this going to keep us, us, safer? <laughs> yeah. This this also opens up another question, folks. Why would Apple, a privately owned company, be producing a product, a product with with the ability and the capability to be shut down for government uses. Just and something for you to think about. Yep, it goes back to cronyism. <laughs> hey, you scratch my back. I scratch yours. That's right. You know, and um, just off subject real quick, I just want to say something. A lot of people don't realize about regulations. Our regulations are actually set up and backed by large corporations mm -hmm. because they can afford the regulation or they have loopholes around it while smaller businesses trying to come up and get into lar larger uh, spectrum of customers can't because they have to spend so much money on these dumb regulations. Um, well, not all of them are dumb, but there should be a case-by-case uh, -case basis as far as regulations go. If a company is not guilty of committing a crime, why are you going to put a law or a restriction on it that hasn't, uh, that it's never broken in the first place? Um, I'm personally I agree with that argument. My my biggest thing with regulations is that what drives this country and has always driven this country, folks, small business. What other way is this country going to, and, and it drives me crazy when I watch people shop at Walmart. We're getting off subject. Yeah. Uh, but just to end off on that off subject part real quick, um, 
I just want you to look at two uh, facts here. Okay, one of the main complaints I hear from people on the right and people on the left is consumerism. We have this consumeristic society. Now, uh, now I want people to notice that we didn't have one until we had places like Walmart, Publix, and large corporations. Um, it's it, it's beneficial to them for us to be a consumeristic society. So anyway, uh, Patton, keep an eye on it. Especially all you iPhone users. Oh man, um, uh, it, it, it's 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 nerve wracking to think that they're willing to put limitations on our devices mm -hmm. for the safety of the government and not ourselves. Yeah, and, and part of the reason why we vote, and and this is one of the we get so in, in, indoctrinated into our consumerism is that we've stopped questioning our government. Yeah, and now there is a large contingent of people questioning the government and they don't like that and so they're there I mean this would be uh, detrimental to people like cop watch and cop block and free speech so uh, we are change you know I mean yeah it, it's it's silly uh, so yeah. um, that's something to think about keep an eye on it if you guys get any information please write us uh, at the journalistic revolution you, you'll see the uh, email webs uh, links down at the bottom uh, and let us know what you're finding out about it or if you're having any experiences with that from Apple or they're trying to do updates to you. And if you work for Apple, you can give us some little inside information. We'll keep your name and the names of our sources firmly and tightened and closed in our brains. Mm -hmm. And I'd just like to say stay tuned for segment number five, part mm -hmm. five.